Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial 24 titled Man Jumping. It's a follow up to tutorial 23 which was Man Walking with Moving Background which I have on the stage right now. I'm opening the library panel. I'm opening the Man Movie Clip. Click on the temp layer. This, in my case, you may not have this, but click on your top layer and insert seven layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Select this first block on the arm layer and draw it down and come over and capture all those. Right click anywhere on them and copy those frames. In my case, I'm on frame 26 right here. Click that, draw it down, all those seven layers. Right click in that blue somewhere, insert blank keyframes. And go back and paste frames. So we just pasted those frames there. Select the top layer. In my case, it's arm right. Insert a layer and call it another temp layer, temp, T-E-M-P. Select frame 27. This is where this first starts. Jump. Right click, insert a blank keyframe. I'm just going to lift this up out of my way for a minute. I'm going to make my stage 50%. Pick up the straight line tool and draw a line where his approximately where his feet are. Draw one close to where his knee is. One above his knee. And one more around his hips or waist. There. These are going to be helping us guide us to where to put these this man when he's jumping. Come over to the next this keyframe right here. In my case, it's frame 31. Lock all the layers and unlock the layers that just pertain to this guy. And that's those seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With your selection tool, make sure he's all selected. Using your arrow keys, bring him up to that next line. Go to the next keyframe. Select them all, bring them up to the third line. Go to the next keyframe, select them all, bring them up to the top one. Here I want him again in this section, select them. I want him back up to the top one. We want him to be in the air for quite a while. Now in this frame, we're going to drop back down to that third one again. In this frame, back down to the second one. And here he's back where he is. Come into here where you're on that top, where he's as high as he can go. Make sure you can see all the layers. Click on this one, drag it down, and make sure you have all them highlighted. Click anywhere and come over two or three frames, and that'll keep him in the air for, for a little bit of time. Back to scene one. Frame one of the action code. Select frame one of the action code. Open the action panel. And type in this information. First of all, it's a stop. S-T-O-P. Open, close bracket, semicolon. We're going to make a button. Capital B-U-T-T-O-N-1 underscore B-T-N. And there's going to be an ad event event listener listening to, to that button. So capital A, excuse me, small ADD, capital E, V, E, N, T, capital L, listener, that's what you're in blue, open bracket, most event, capital M, capital E, that'll turn blue, period, and click is all capitals, C-L-I-C-K, comma, 
start S T A R T and it doesn't matter how you spell this as long as what you spell here you put here exactly the same way close bracket semicolon that's going to call this function F U N C T I O N this turns a purplish color again start same name open bracket event E V E N T small e colon most event you can just click this most event and put it down here close bracket colon void there's the open curly bracket for this function and the closed curly bracket two things are going to take place we're going to because this frame one is stopped now we're going to tell it to go to and play frame two which will move the background so go to and play small g small t capital a capital p open bracket two close bracket semicolon man movie clip that's the movie clip we're going to be starting capital M A N underscore M C period go to and play open bracket two close bracket semicolon and there's our close curly bracket go back to the timeline go back to the actions layer frame two insert a blank keyframe open that actions panel and type in this code very much the same this time it's going to be button to that's the only difference here is button to you could have copied that other stuff and, and put it in here if you want capital B U T T O N 2 underscore button add event listener it's a most event period click this one's going to be called jump close bracket colon the function is jump it's a most event so event colon most event close bracket colon void and this is going to take us to that man movie clip go to and play we're going to jump to frame 27 and that's where we have them jumping let's go back to the main timeline let's select lock all the layers select this man layer insert a layer call it buttons B U T T O N this is where we're going to put those two buttons. We're going to make them now. Select frame one. I think we can go down to like 50% here and be okay. Picking up my oval tool. Go is green. And right here, I'm going to make an oval. And pick up my text tool. I'm going to pick up a black for my text and start s t a r t start pick up my selection tool and drag that in there using my arrow keys and s somewhat centering it now click off to the side so nothing's highlighted pick up your selection tool select that whole thing that's the only layer that's unlocked modify convert it to a symbol Make sure button is selected, and it is button one, B U T T O N one underscore B T N button. While it's still selected, open the properties panel, and give it a name, B U T T O N one underscore B T N. That's the instance name we used in the action code. Select frame two of this buttons layer right click insert a blank keyframe pick your oval tool up again this time put a red fill make another oval there it is pick up your text tool I want the black text again and this will be jump J U M P smaller here there we go pick up my selection tool jump jump pick up my selection tool and drag that in here make sure nothing is selected now select it all modify convert to a symbol button is still selected this is button 2 B U T T O N 2 underscore B T N properties panel instance name B U T T O N 2 underscore B T N 
lock all layers, unlock the man layer. Because we haven't written script on until now, we didn't need a, a, a instance name for him. Use your selection tool. Make sure the man is selected. He is. Open the properties panel and give him an instance name, capital M-A-N underscore MC movie clip, MC for movie clip. I'm on scene one. I want to lock all layers. Go into the very end. This last action script frame. Open the action code and put in another line here. And that line says capital M A N underscore M script C. That's that man movie clip. We want to go to frame one and stop. Go to and stop, open bracket one, close bracket. Otherwise, when we get to the end and stop, the man's legs will still be wiggling. Uh, we don't want that to happen. Back to the main timeline. Let's open the man movie clip. And we need to put some code in here. Select the top layer. Make sure all layers are locked. Insert a layer. Call it action script as frame one open the action panel we want to stop in here stop open close bracket semicolon insert a blank keyframe on frame two blank keyframe go up till the end of where he's walking right here and in my case it's frame 26 insert a blank keyframe open your actions panel here I want him to go back to frame 2 and and keep looping again so G O T O small capital A N D capital P L A Y open bracket 2 close bracket semicolon so he'll just keep going like this loop and loop and loop and when we tell him to jump we're going to go to this frame 27 we already coded that in but we want him to only jump once so we want at the end of this jump stream we want him to go back to frame two to walk it again so in my case this last frame is 55 on the actions layer right click convert to blank keyframe open the actions panel again G O T O capital A N D capital P L A Y open bracket to close bracket and if we have everything this should should work test my movie I have no errors that's good nothing's moving I click it and he's walking hit the jump button and he jumps jump button jump and he will do this until he reaches the end and let's see if he stops hide we'll hide these lines in a minute so that's good Go back to the man movie clip. So we're there. This temp layer, double click on it and make it a guide layer, which you know now makes it invisible. Okay. There will be a follow up. It'll be tutorial 25. It'll be called the jumping game. We'll make them jump over some objects. So make sure you save this FLA if you plan on doing the next step. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.